Oh my God. Look at the size of that thing. That's not just any snake. It's a king cobra. One of the deadliest predators on the planet. Its venom can paralyze. Its strike faster than a blink. Its presence enough to silence an entire forest. But not everyone runs. Some animals fight back, from the skies to the burrows, from claws to venom-proof skin. These creatures don't just face snakes, they destroy them. This is the countdown of the 20 most fearless animals that kill snakes, even when the odds say they shouldn't. They're small, scrappy, and look more like mischievous pets than predators. But mongooses are the cobra's worst nightmare. Their reflexes are freakishly fast. They dodge strikes with perfect timing, dancing around danger until they find their moment. Then suddenly, they bite the snake right at the base of the skull. The real twist, they're built for it. Mongooses produce a special protein that binds to venom, neutralizing it. Even a deadly bite won't stop them. And here's the most fascinating part. Mongooses train their young to fight snakes. First dead ones, then stunned, and finally live ones. By adulthood, they're skilled, practiced, and fearless. To a snake, the sound of leaves rustling might just mean a mongoose is coming, and it's not going to end well. High above the grasslands of Africa, one predator watches with razor focus. A flick of scales, a movement in the grass, and the snake eagle dives. It doesn't hesitate, it doesn't miss. With armor-like scales on its legs and talons like meat hooks, it lifts venomous snakes from the ground as if they're nothing more than sticks. Sometimes it eats in the air, Sometimes it feeds its chicks. Either way, the snake never had a chance. Most animals avoid snakes. Wild hogs, they hunt them. Thick skin, thick fat, and a pain threshold that borders on the insane. Even venom has trouble working fast enough to matter. The hog charges in, snapping jaws and flailing hooves. It doesn't stop until the snake is either flattened or torn apart. This isn't self-defense, it's dinner. In rocky deserts where rattlesnakes coil beneath the sun, the bobcat prowls with quiet steps and sharper instincts. A rattle warns others, but for a bobcat, it's an invitation. One calculated slap to the head stuns the snake. A quick bite to the neck ends the fight. It's night vision, like a thermal camera. Darkness gives it cover. Silence gives it time, and the bobcat gives no second chances. Coyotes don't just wander, they wait, standing still for minutes, listening, a faint hiss, a whisper of movement. That's all it takes. They spring forward with precision, fangs ready, paws pinning their prey. Venom doesn't scare them because in the game of ambush, the coyote usually moves first and finishes it fast. You won't hear it coming. With specially adapted feathers for silent flight, the great horned owl descends like a shadow, gripping, crushing, and carrying snakes into the air before they even realize what happened. Its talons exert up to 500 pounds of force, enough to crush bone. Night is its domain. And for any snake that's not hidden well enough, it's the end of the line. While snakes depend on camouflage, red-tailed hawks count on clarity. From power lines or treetops, they spot the tiniest flicker of movement. One second later, they're diving at speeds over 100 miles per hour. They grab, crush, and lift in one smooth motion. In some areas, snakes make up nearly half their diet. That's not coincidence, that's mastery. Australia's redback spider doesn't chase snakes, it waits. 
Its web looks messy, imperfect, random. But that chaos is a trap. A small snake slides in, gets tangled, and before it can react, the spider bites. Venom floods the system, paralysis hits, and then, silence. Size doesn't matter, only timing does. It doesn't care if you're a puff adder or a cobra. If you cross its path, it's coming. Honey badgers fight dirty, biting, clawing, and dragging their prey across the ground. They're not completely immune to venom, but they're close. They'll take a hit, collapse, recover, and then go back to finish the job. It's no wonder lions avoid them, and snakes, they just disappear. A snake slides into a riverbank. It thinks it's safe, but under the surface, a crocodile waits, motionless. In a split second, it lunges. Jaws snap shut with thousands of pounds of force. Bones shatter, movement ends. And the croc slips back into the water, leaving only ripples behind. One turkey, maybe not a threat. 10 turkeys, that's a death sentence. They move in flocks and react like a unit. When a snake enters their space, the entire group responds. Small snakes get pecked to death. Larger ones are intimidated until they slither away. Armored legs and layered feathers give them an edge, but it's their numbers and boldness that make them deadly. Raccoons don't hunt snakes often, but when they do, they don't mess around. They slam with their paws, bite the neck, and if that doesn't work, they use tools, rocks, logs, whatever's nearby, to finish the job. It's not brute force, it's street smart violence, and it works. They look harmless, but a hedgehog facing a snake is anything but cute. Its venom resistance protects it. Its spines punish attackers. One wrong bite, and the snake ends up with a shredded mouth. While the snake recoils, the hedgehog counters, biting hard, right on the head. One shot, fight over. They're small, but what they lack in size, they make up for in absolute fury. Wolverines track prey by scent even under snow or earth. They don't sneak, they explode. Thick fur blocks, bites, sharp claws hold the snake down. And once the fight starts, it doesn't stop until the Wolverine wins. Even venomous snakes are just another obstacle to shred. Yes, they stink, but they also kill. Skunks are immune to rattlesnake venom. They dig snakes out of holes and bite fast, right on the neck. They don't care about warnings. They don't flinch at fangs. They just finish it. These cat-like mammals aren't picky eaters. Toxic bugs, venomous creatures, even snakes, they all end up on the menu. Civets have evolved with a stomach that can process poison and a resistance to venom most animals can't survive. They don't fight out of aggression, they fight because they can. It starts with one high-pitched call, then suddenly every meerkat is watching. Snakes that enter meerkat territory find themselves surrounded, distracted, and attacked from all sides. They take turns biting, dodging, striking again. Even venomous snakes can't handle the chaos. And thanks to their venom resistance, Meerkats survive what others can't. They don't fly in. They walk, tall, proud, deadly. With legs that kick harder than a kangaroo, the secretary bird delivers bone-breaking blows to snakes on the ground. Its aim is surgical, its power brutal. One strike can kill instantly. It's the only bird that regularly stomps cobras to death. They look sleepy, sloppy, harmless, but they're biological marvels. 
Opossums carry a protein in their blood that binds to snake venom and neutralizes it. That's right, rattlesnakes can bite them, and they'll keep munching on berries like nothing happened. Science is now using that same protein to create anti-venom treatments for humans. Eight feet long, 150 pounds of muscle, claws, and bite force. The Komodo dragon doesn't avoid snakes. It outlives them. Its armor-like skin shrugs off most fangs. Its bite strong enough to break bone. Its strategy, hit hard, hit once. Even the King Cobra has no answer. Its venom can't sink deep. Its speed can't match the dragon's brute force. This isn't just another predator. It's a living fossil, a reptilian tank. And when it enters the arena, it leaves nothing behind. So which of these fearless creatures shocked you the most? The clever mongoose, the venom-proof skunk, or the dragon that ends all arguments? Let us know in the comments. And if you're loving the wild, the weird, and the warriors of nature, subscribe now. This is just the beginning. Thanks for watching. Stay wild. Stay fearless.